What we're going to demonstrate here is doing botulinum toxin injections for hyperhidrosis. It's often known as Botox, although that's a trade name, it shouldn't be called that. It's botulinum toxin A, and what we're going to do is we're going to be injecting this into the armpits of somebody with hyperhidrosis. I'm going to demonstrate botulinum toxin injections into a 30-year-old lady who's been one of our patients for about six or seven years with hyperhidrosis. At the Whiteley Clinic, we tend to use a drug called Dyspor rather than botulinum toxin, which, and we use a full dose of 500 units. That's 250 units on each side. This lasts for about six to nine months. You'll find some clinics give a full dose and you should get about six to nine months each time that you have an injection. Some clinics, however, give a lower dose, which means that you have to go back more often. Therefore, it's always worth asking exactly how much you are being given if you go for this sort of treatment. This patient is considering and also is suitable for the new laser sweat ablation operation, which is a keyhole surgery local anaesthetic operation that completely cures sweating and is permanent. However, at the moment, she's decided to go for botulinum toxin one more time and then consider laser sweat ablation before the next summer. Previously, we've tested this patient with iodine and starch to find out exactly where she sweats from and we've shown that all of her sweat glands are associated with the hair. So therefore, we can see from the follicles on the surface exactly where her sweating area is. I like to mark the patients with one dot right at the top of the hair bearing area and one at the bottom and then we put this line across halfway down so we put half the dose at the top and half the dose at the bottom. We were quite outside the hair bearing area to make sure we get exactly the area we want to get because each one of the little injections spreads about a centimetre in all directions. We used to draw quite a lot of lines on this to try and make sure that we got exactly the right dose in each area but with experience you don't need that and with an indelible ink pen it really is quite distressing for the patient for a day or two afterwards. Okay, we're just going to start putting in little pinpricks into the skin. We're just injecting a tiny bit of botulinum toxin under each area. Having completed one armpit, we're now going to move over and treat the other armpit with the other half of the solution. Final half this side, tiny little pinpricks, just like a little bee sting. And just a minute or two after the botulinum toxin has been injected, you can see there's not much of a reaction at all, and so we just uh, give a little bit of a wipe just to uh, clean the area. But uh, the patient can go straight back to normal life as if nothing's happened. It's now been five days since having my Botox injected under my arms. Um, there's been little or no bruising at all and I started to feel the benefit of the results after about three days. I'm now able to wear the clothes that I wanted to wear prior to having Botox without the fear of leaving the wet, wet sweat marks or the, the white lines that sweat leaves.